Well, there'll be a people. There'll be a lower quality of life for billions of people around the world. He's talking about climate change. Question is, who's to blame? Have we been destroying the Earth since the Industrial Revolution? Or is Donald Trump right? Is it just a communist hoax meant to make America less competitive? I want to believe. Global warming first became a political issue in the 1980s, when Ronald Reagan trounced Jimmy Carter and waltzed into the White House. He ripped off the solar panels Carter had installed in the White House roof and cut funding for environmental research and CO2 monitoring. People wondered if global warming was a scare tactic to increase regulations or maybe a Soviet plot to undermine capitalism. In the decades since, despite the effort of left-wing environmentalists and big government liberals and 97% of the scientific community, climate change truthers still cling to the belief that changes in weather are natural and cyclical. The planet is definitely getting warmer. Eight of the 10 hottest years recorded occurred in the last decade. There are also more hurricanes, droughts, and wildfires. So how do climate change truthers explain this? We comb through online conspiracy forums to find some of the leading theories. And then we went to this guy, Mr. Nye. How do we know you're not in on the global warming conspiracy? If there were a conspiracy, you'd be talking about 30,000 people at least expected to keep a secret of some sort. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Hasn't the earth warmed before? And as I say to everybody, it's not that the world didn't used to be warmer in the ancient dinosaur days. It's not that there didn't used to be more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere when less of it was caught chemically in rocks as carbonates. No, it's the speed at which the world is getting warmer, the rate in which the world is getting warmer that's so troublesome. Aren't there ways you could raise the temperature faster? Like solar activity. Couldn't the sun be emitting more heat? Couldn't our orbit be shifting? The Earth's orbit does affect the climate uh, through a phenomenon named after uh, an astronomer named Blankovich, Blankovich cycles. But that's not what we're in right now. Solar cycle is a second thing. The, s the sun spins about every 11 years and it, has, it expands and contracts now and then. But that's not the effect we're seeing now. It's com that effect's completely overwhelmed by greenhouse gases that humankind have added to the atmosphere. Oh yeah, how could you possibly know the level of these greenhouse gases hundreds of years ago? Uh, the ice cores. When you look at the layers of snow back 670,000 years, you can see the amount of carbon dioxide. You can see when it increased. It corresponds perfectly with the advent of the steam engine, fossil fuel burning on a global and industrial scale. Couldn't there be other causes for greenhouse gases, like volcanoes? Volcanoes specifically can be excluded. There's just not enough of them near the equator to cause this. It's just, it's just not even close. What about pigs farting methane gas? Pigs aren't human. It's a myth that they, it comes out the other end. That's uh, not quite, that's not the effect. It comes out this end. Uh, that's because we have so many people eating so much meat. That's a big effect. Uh, furthermore, the evidence for what's really causing it's overwhelming. So you're, I'm stumped. There isn't enough methane seeping out of uh, the ocean floor of the Gulf of Mexico. I don't buy it. It's all too politicized. There must be a conspiracy. Well, the fossil fuel industry works very hard to maintain their status quo. And they even hired the fossil fuel industry, even hired some of the very same people, actual people uh, from the cigarette days. And uh, this has been a real problem. The New York Times uncovered documents from Exxon before it was Exxon Mobil, showing that they, that scientists at Exxon had discovered climate change caused by their products. And they encouraged their bosses to get into a different business. And instead, the bosses dismissed, dismissed those people. And uh, there's some question as to whether or not that was legal. That's documented. So let me get this straight. <coughs> let me get this straight. So the fossil fuel industry is spending countless millions to fund a corporatocratic machine that deceives the American public so that tycoons can get rich off the destruction of the Earth? <laughs> Say no more, Bill. I think we found our conspiracy. 
Wake up, sheeple. 